Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Island Tour video. Today we're going to a beautiful Japanese paradise made by an incredibly talented creator, Crossing Callisto on Instagram. As usual, guys, if you like the video, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Now, trust me, guys, you are going to be in love with this island. This island just hits you with a bit of like the cozy vibes, but also the beautiful Japanese vibes. So we're going to start off and I, unfortunately, I'm not 100% sure where to go, but we have this absolutely gorgeous map. No, not that one in the right corner. This one. This incredibly detailed and beautiful map was made by the island creator themselves. And actually, maybe, I don't know if it's going to be right now, but they're opening up commissions for them very soon. So make sure you go check out their socials and support them that way. Even if you're just a fan or if you want one done of your own island, definitely hit them up. This is just so gorgeous. I'm going to go over here to the left. And I just want to appreciate how natural and flowing the island is. Like the way you walk around everywhere just feels so free and open. Oh, look who it is. Right here. We got Aki. Hope you enjoy your visit. I will. Look at the butterfly floating there and the cherry blossoms floating through the air. Absolutely beautiful. And that rhymed, but <laughs> I didn't even mean to. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it, right? So look at this build even right here. Something so simple as this little garden and the symmetry between the trees is something that is so pleasing to my eye. We've got the little black rabbit there. And we come around to one of the first houses. Coming back up through here. Lead us. Hmm, where am I going to go? I'm going to go down. I love this island because it just feels like no matter which direction you go, you're going to find something beautiful. It also is kind of stressful because I'm so worried I'm going the wrong way, but... When you have designers like this that make these gorgeous islands, you can always rest assured that you're going in the right direction because there is going to be something beautiful any direction you go. Let's go over here first. I appreciate the simplicity of this gorgeous house right here. Let me see if I can get a better angle of this. It almost looks picturesque. Actually, that's exactly what it is. Not almost. It literally is. It's just so pretty. Every single frame of this video is just art. You could pause at any point. Try it right now. No, wait, don't pause right now. <laughs> but, you know, at any point, you can just pause and just appreciate how, how pretty every individual place is. One further down onto the beaches. And see, this is one thing that I appreciate. It's still designed. Well designed, the beaches. But look, they feel like beaches. They don't feel cluttered. And I know everybody feels like they need to jam pack their islands every single inch with the design and sometimes you just want to because you know it's fun but you don't need to always do that you can have simple beaches oh look at this i feel like i've stumbled upon something i shouldn't have found look at these like it <laughs> this is so nice the baths right here in a nice hidden spot that's the one thing about dream address is that when you visit via dream address that you can never really get that 100 percent authentic experience of actually coming here from the airport but that's fine the resident services is also a gorgeous area to start from because it's right in the middle and leads you to everywhere so we're going to go back up here again check out this little house i love how they're decorated this is the Abel sisters like you would never know okay i need to check out this build check it out it's just so well designed it really fits in with the theme that's really well done and i love the flags right there and the, the little scooters. And now we're here in a graveyard. Oh no, you know what? I'm actually going to refer to the beautiful map. This is the Haniwa Cemetery. So yeah, that's exactly what it is. A beautiful cemetery. Look, even this building right here. What? This is mind-blowing. It just... I can actually go inside. Who needs mods when you have something like this? What? Amazing. Okay, let me get a beautiful angle of this, because, yeah, look at that. Incredible, me just standing here and just having a good time with the gyroids bopping. It just adds a little bit of ambiance. You know, I didn't even have my headphones in, but it really adds up. Wait, what is here? Is this the museum? Wait, is it the unupgraded? It is. The unupgraded museum is a slightly darker tinge and a little bit smaller. So in this build, it fits in flawlessly. That's a really good idea. If you haven't actually upgraded it all the way, this is a great option. Although it's not very friendly if you are playing the game for normal means. But if you are doing it just for design, there's some things you can think about there. 
That could be very beautiful. And then we come up to, what is this? Can we just, okay. Can we just appreciate this terraforming? Oh my goodness. I'm speechless. This is something else. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. <laughs> Ever since I was told that this island was real, it looked good. <laughs> like the video if you know where that's from. <laughs> I want to see. Okay, I'm going to go to the left. And we have this. More cemetery. Very, very beautiful. Right beside here. Th I still can't get over this. Wow. Absolutely masterful. And then we go over here, this bridge. So this beautifully dynamic forest. Look at the sizes of all like... The bamboo is shorter as it's closer to the path, but as it gets closer to the camera, it's bigger. It gives even more depth and makes it feel even bigger. Even this cherry blossoms tree is not fully grown. So we're going to go up here and view this. Okay, this also seems like... It just needs... Like, look at these. Every single place that I've visited so far is a screenshot. Look at this. We even got the butterfly, like just the butterfly is like, okay, now he's gone. But, and I wonder if we go down here, I think this is the secret beach. Let me see. It's not the secret beach. It's the not so secret beach, but still gorgeous. Okay. Hey guys, Tiny Chase here reminding you to like the video and subscribe if you're enjoying it so far. It really helps me out. And uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get back to the video. Let's go over to the right here. And this is called the sunken temple now i want you guys to really check this out i'm gonna need to get the best possible view i can and i'm not sure if this does it even even does it justice let me get closer and get a better angle okay this doesn't it's so hard to find the best angle for some of these builds but just this i think captures it just walking by it absolutely beautiful the sunken temple going over here and we have another beautiful view but we're gonna get there soon i know that is a direction we are going so i want to go inside this temple and yeah see what's inside oh it really is a temple wow oh my goodness i absolutely love the way that they have this blocked off they have the other entrances and rooms blocked off but it just fits and just works and the, that one in the back looks like the sliding doors that are typically in traditional homes. Beautiful. And the music is so simple, but again, dynamic. Oh, I remember seeing something like this in another island tour I did, but it wasn't done quite like this. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Oh. This is like the most beautiful, relaxing library ever. And I just love the flowers on top. Great job. Again, simple, but go oh, look, we can, oh, I, I left. Okay, now we're back and yeah, you can see exactly how they did it. Oh, that is such a good idea. Wow. Brilliant, brilliant idea. And now let's go check out upstairs. Oh, so peaceful, so clean simple and beautiful and i love that i think animal crossing's design has gone from it's taken a few eras but around the time that we found the path we were really into clutter core and mind you i love clutter core i think that stuff looks amazing but there's something about this that is just as well designed as something with twice the amount of items in the room you know what i mean there is just something about having simplicity but still uh, i guess very directness in your design and very deliberateness and dynamicness in your design that you don't need to be cluttered like look how i'm walking around this island it's symmetrical it's not weaving all over the place it's just very straightforward but it's deliberate and it's beautiful it isn't like me and basic with my island which i mean some people like my island but you know this is what i wish my island could be now we come down here Gosh, this is... I bet this even looks pretty. It does. Even this looks pretty. Come on. How do you have an island that looks pretty at every single second? Oh, this is crazy. Uh, I think we've already been here. Yeah. So we're going to go over to the right side of the island. That was only half. Now we cross over where we started. Let's go 
actually to the airport directly down if we can coming around here how do I get to the airport <laughs> okay we're down here now we have a little farm outside look at that that is so oh so lovely I'm gonna explode from all the niceness and then we find this little path Oh, it just goes full circle. I think I was just I was just a little bit dumb and I went the wrong way, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> now we go across this and then we go down. And now we're at the airport. So, okay. So the, picture this. This is you come and visit the island the way that I would normally experience it on a tour and yeah, I really like it. It's just so clean and flowy. So now let's actually go to the right side of the island. And experience that but I want to start in the lower right hand corner um, I think I see a bridge over here yeah let's go check it out oh what do we have here bumping into the bridge a little bit yeah let me get a better angle of this Wow so simple and beautiful I love how they're using the making the trees smaller and stuff which just makes it feel like it's further away I know when I'm zoomed in with the camera, it, it, it doesn't quite show, but if these were fully grown trees, it would block a lot of the beautiful terraforming and a lot of the design. So using different sized trees is a real big brain thing to do. Um, this looks interesting. On the map, this actually shows up as... This is Zen Garden? I'm not even 100% sure. Let me let me get a good look. So this looks like a, like a castle or some sh or something like that. This doesn't look quite like... Oh, what's down here? It doesn't look quite like the map, but... Oh, Nook's Cranny, not upgraded. So this island was purely made for design purposes. They were very deliberate that this island was going to be for design and then to be torn down, so... Okay, how do I enter? <laughs> I can enter through here, but is that what I want? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, we're going to enter in through the side uh, here. Oh, no way. This is the Zen Garden. The Niji Zen Garden. Oh my goodness, guys. Check this out. Have you ever seen something quite like it in Animal Crossing? Oh my gosh. This is... This is incredible. And I just love the use of the terraforming to make it feel like you're in a genuine building. I shouldn't walk on there. And I love these mini building like huts here. Whose house is this? This is Croak's house, but it just fits the theme so well. Well done. And then from here, we go over to the this rock here, lightly decorated. Okay, let's check this out. What's over here? more beautiful design and excuse me what wait what is this wait did i just enter the wrong way am i doing something wrong okay never mind false alarm i was going the right way uh let's get a better view of this excuse me <laughs> look at this now i want to point out something else that on the map you notice that these hedges are mar marked on the map because they actually put a pathway underneath this is something you don't have to do to make it look good. But if you want the map to, I guess, represent the forms that you're building and the, the design that you're building, you should definitely place down paths at landmarks so that they're very visible on the map. So that, I don't know, just as that extra touch, you can tell this definitely is not their first island at all. There's no way this is their first. This is just so well done. So I want to go quickly to the left here and see we're back at resident services. So from here, I have two choices. I think I'm going to go back to the beach. Honestly, I'm getting a little bit lost in the order I should be experiencing things, but it's honestly just because I'm walking around aimlessly myself and I don't have the lovely island crater giving me a tour, which is honestly just next level. So then we come over to this side and oh my goodness, and something in the background on the beaches around the peninsula. Look at this. Oh, it's a little, a little like cut of slice of paradise. That's what it is. A little slice of paradise over here. So nice. Wow. Great job. We can go back around here. Oh, can I climb up? 
I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I'm gonna do it. Can I climb up here? No. But I can walk up here, do a little jumpy jump. Jumpy jump. I feel like I shouldn't be here yet. Jumping back. Don't worry, I'm going around to that exact spot. However, I'm going to go there through the proper way, not through climbing up and skipping the beautiful design. So I'll, we'll be there in a sec. Oh, wow. Okay. Speaking of being there in a sec, look at this. Another beautiful build. So simple. Little water feature here. You can go around to the waterfall. It's gorgeous in its own right. And then I think we're supposed to go up here. Oh, that is so sneaky. I actually didn't see that before. And I think this is the best place to appreciate. Oh my goodness. What? Excuse me? Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I can't. Wait, no. How am I going to get the perfect angle of this? No, no, no. This view does not do it justice. I need to go check this out. Okay, I hope you guys can appreciate how gorgeous this is, but there is one lone cherry blossom tree right there. And as you just walk inside, you see this flower, and then you can look up at the cherry blossom tree and just appreciate that. So well done! And like, even from here, you can't get the full scope of it. Okay, this is... I'm such a fan. Wow, and there's a house on top of that too. I wonder how we can get there though. I wonder if we even can. Okay, so after a while of experimenting, you can't get up there. All we can do is just appreciate this gorgeous view and... Unfortunately, I can't get the view properly, but you guys... This is... Next level. I can't imagine ever building something even 10% as beautiful as that. And that was called the Sundoku Jo. And if anybody knows what that means, then uh, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Okay, and to the left of this beautiful place, we have this, which is the Naguta Theater. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This, <laughs> I am blown away. The amount of culture and pure class in this island is just beautiful. I could just appreciate, appreciate every single detail. Everything was just so well thought out. Even little things like right here, we have these cutouts, which just really add to the feel, but they just don't, they, they don't even feel out of place at all. Okay. Now we're going to go up to the secret beach. Here, cross over this bridge. Why, look at this. It's just winding and feeling so beautiful. One singular cherry blossom petal just dropped on the ground. Like, what? Like, how do you think about that? Like, how do you think, oh, yeah, I should put one on the ground. It just works, though. It's so weird. And we have this. And for some reason, those islands in the background fit the theme for once. I don't know. They just feel, like, so good. Maybe that's your island over there. <laughs> Maybe that's the next island I'm going to tour. And that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And on top of that, check out this video here. It's actually a really good video. I think you'll love it. And uh, as usual, guys, I will see you in the next video.